The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the limit switch setting of the Schiebel SmartCon electric actuator. The SmartCon control unit doubles up as a local control station to operate the valve and actuator and also a non-intrusive interface to configure actuator parameters and to observe actuator and valve status and diagnostics. The SmartCon control station has a red selector switch to select local, remote and off. When locally selected, the valve can be operated using the black control switch to open and close or position the valve. When re remote is selected, the actuator can be operated from the customer's control station. When off is selected, the black control switch can be used to browse through the menus. When browsing through the menus, a little practice is necessary to get a feel of the angle and speed of the moving of the switches. The bigger the angle or faster the speed may result in overshoot of the desired parameters or values. An LCD display and LEDs are provided for indication and alarms. To start the limit switch setup, both red and black switches should be in the off position. Closed limit. Move the clutch lever downwards and engage the hand wheel. Close the valve with the hand wheel Convention is clockwise. When reaching the closed position, turn the hand wheel by 0.5 to one turn in the opposite direction to avoid over travel due to inertia. Open the cover of the control device to access the potentiometer. Move the black switch upwards slowly to the status menu S4. Turn the slotted screw of the position pot till the value 10 is indicated on the LCD display. Move the black switch downward slowly till the parameter P1.2 end limit switch close is displayed. You will see on the LCD display, Edit. Confirm this by removing the red selector switch upwards with a short pan. You will see on the display, Save. Pan the red selector switch fully downwards till it locks. The display will show the word Teaching. This means that you are teaching the actuator that the manual selection of the closed position is to be saved automatically. Now let the red selector switch spring back to the off position. Now pan the red selector switch slightly upwards and let it rebound to the off position to save the closed setting. The display save changes to edit. The closed limit switch setting is now automatically saved. The LED for the closed position glows and the fault is green. Open limit. Move the deep clutch lever downwards and engage the hand wheel. Open the valve with the hand wheel. Convention is anti-clockwise. When reaching the open position, turn the hand wheel by 0.5 to one turn in the opposite direction to avoid over travel due to inertia. Move the black switch downwards till the parameter P1.1 end limit switch open is displayed. You will see on the LCD display edit. Confirm this by moving the red selector switch upwards with a short pan. You will see on the display save. Pan the red selector switch fully downwards till it locks. The display will show word teaching. This means that you're teaching the actuator that the manual selection of the open position is to be saved automatically. Now let the red selector switch spring back to the off position. Now pan the red selector switch slightly upwards and let it rebound to the off position to save the open setting. The display save changes to edit. The open limit switch setting is now automatically saved. The LED for the open position glows the default is red.